What is up guys? Last 19T update here today. I'm N54 Gasm or Justin as you know me in the groups. Uh, it's about time to put the Franken turbos in. I know a lot of people want to see how they perform. More people are interested in them now since I posted the video. But uh, I'm going to give credit to all the China people that are mad. I changed the group name. Guys, that's only because... There's so many other turbos out there besides a 17T and a 19T, all right? I know the group focused on just the China turbos, but it's not going anywhere. You guys can post all about it all you want in the groups, 17Ts, 19Ts, I don't care. Let's just open the door for everything else, you know? All the other twins that are good, you know? Like the Franks, the Dynamic Auto Works, New Flow Max, all those stuff like that. Let's, you know, we just have the group more open to people, you know, let, let it be the official upgraded turbo tuner group. That's what I want. I'm sick of the N54 slash five tuner groups, the, all the other stuff that people asking what oil and all to use. So that's why I changed the name. I want it to be the official upgraded turbo group. Um, basically guys, I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings, but nothing else has changed besides, you know, I'm sure no one's going to hoe you on having 17 T's or 19 T's in the group because they have peers. So let's just get that out of the way right now. Right? So update now, finally starting the 19 T's are on 30 fucking pounds of boost. Actually, I'm running like I'm hitting 31. I'm over boosting a little. We got to adjust the settings. I just installed JB4 with the anti lag. Oh my fucking God, this shit is wild now. This is a totally different car. Honestly, after I back end flashed my MHD custom tune by Michael Hollingsworth, shout out, of course, I'm not gonna let anyone ever tune my car again. This motherfucker knows everything about this platform and you listen to him, he is right. If he tells you you got a bad high pressure fuel pump, you got a bad fucking high pressure fuel pump. And I promise you, I just put a new high pressure fuel pump in. Now I'm able to run E85. Fully 85 now, and my single wall burl 535. It is ma it is officially maxed out. I'm having some misfire issues. Occasionally, we're turning the boost down towards red line so we can fix those misfire issues because the fuel pump starves at higher RPMs. It just can't handle the flow. All right. I've done a bunch of upgrades and stuff. All my maintenance guides. That's what's taking a while. I know it's been a long time since the winter, since I've updated and stuff. But the plans are still coming, and now the car is getting into action finally, and it's running fucking great, and I'm I'm loving it now. It's a totally different beast. The JB4, it, it actually used boost pressure control to to make the boost. You know what I mean? Like, all right, let's say MHD is load. MHD uses boost. It goes by the load on MHD, so it correlates with each other. I don't know how to explain it the best. You know, my tuner and other people have explained it, but back in, back in flashing them, I get the best of both worlds. I'm actually hitting more boosts. So I love this JB4. The safety features are fucking awesome, dude. If, if I'm going to lean or anything, to cut, it won't even let me go into limp mode. It'll kick me into map four, which is stock boost eight PSI before anything bad really happens. So that's why I got the JB4 too, guys. It's awesome. The anti-lag is ridiculous. I'm gonna try to get some videos up for you guys. Um, had a miss, I raced the Hellcat Red Eye. I'll post it at the end. Um, I was pulling on him hard and then I fucking misfire, went in the map four and just let off. So whatever, we got, I got their numbers, the ZL1s, uh, tuned ZL1s and stuff. We got a lot of high power cars. We're gonna be racing very soon in the summer. So stay tuned. Uh, Fuel pressure, upgraded fuel pressure regulator, my 6AN low pressure line from the tank all the way to the high pressure fuel pump, and dual wall burl 525s and a hob switch are going in very soon. We're getting all this taken care of finally, guys. I know it's been a while, so let's get this dyno in. Let's see how the 19Ts, uh, let's see what they really make around 30 pounds of boost on, I'm on E70-ish right now. Because I'm in Michigan, we're on a winter blend, so it's not fully 85 yet until it gets warmer. So I'm on an E70 blend right now, straight out the pump. That's the best we got around here. So we're hoping for make 600 wheels. So uh, stay tuned, guys. We're going to see what we do. Thank you all for all the support, everybody. And uh, let's get at it.
again too if it's only allowed 100. Is that third gear? Huh? Is that third gear? That's Ford. That was Ford? Yeah. It only went 87. Yeah. How much boost did it build? All right, guys, transmission's been slipping so bad, and I've been planning to put a new one in, so. Putting this used one in with 80K miles on it. Pulling my old one now. Hopefully it'll hold for the dyno. And, yeah. It's gonna splash everywhere. Just... Yeah, it is gonna splatter a little bit. All right, let's see. Oh, oh dude, that's so bad. bad. Oh, it could be worse. shit. It's not shiny, so it's not that's bad. bad. This is dirt. It looks yeah, like there's mud. There's a little bit of sparkles. It's not. Yeah, it's been worse. Yeah, I've seen worse. <laughs> dude, that's bad. I've seen worse. That's Taking fine. it out. Hopefully, we could throw it back on the oh, dyno guys and just. I took this old TCU out, or we're just swapping it. Like people, you don't need to program it. You just take. It. The valve body's off, taking oh, no. shit. So <laughs> I need to swap it. So I'm not gonna lose any of my tunes or anything. It's gonna be just like the new trans is in the car. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Hopefully no misfires. Let's go. Let's go like 50-ish, 45 anti-lag. Wow, holy fuck. That's a new fucking trans in the car too, bro. Did they go in a third? It just slipped like crazy. It didn't even go in the third. I felt it slip there You too. see what it did? Yeah, it did the red line shit. Yeah, I heard it. It didn't hook. It didn't well, guys, it. as you see, this is the fucking issues that we're having right now. Some crazy shit. Put this bitch in neutral. Let's see if she's working. I'm back in drive. All right, she's working fine again. Too much fucking power, guys. We're definitely pushing like 650 wheel. The auto trans yeah. just doesn't like it. This auto ZF just can't hold it, and that's why the new trans build's coming very soon, guys. Stay updated. I'm, I apologize about all the dyno problems we had. We tried to dyno it. We put a new fucking transmission in the car, and we're just still having problems, guys. I, it's the name of the game. All I need is a new trans now and those dual pumps, and we should be good to go. As you can see, this shit is fucking crazy right now. I'm going to post up some logs. We'll show some logs together and see what it's doing. But uh, for now, we're just chilling at it. Uh, yeah, you can't hold that boost right now. 32 PSI. Uh, I guess that's it. Stay tuned. Trans build. All right, let's try to get a fourth gear pull in. It's slipping, but you know, it's just, let's just see how it swims already. Jesus Christ! And it slipped, I let off. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's fucking flying. It doesn't, but uh. Fire, show you my low pressure fuel pump. That's uh, running out of breath. So we're gonna go here. I'm not hitting it yet. Boost starts taking off. 3000 already building it. I have it coming earlier. Fuel pump holding, holding, and then as I hit 4000, starting to hit that full boost. 30.8. Fuel pressure starting to drop 60, 59. You can see the pink line right here, guys. Fuel pressure, just dropping on my low pressure. 55, 54, 54, 52. And then
And then as I shift, see I'm at 5,600 RPM, I shift early because as I get closer to red line, fuel pressure just drops more. I shift it right here. Fuel pressure spike starts going up a little, starts going up. As I get closer to red line, it starts dropping down to 56 again. And then it starts going up after I let off, but that's why I'm having my misfires. That's a single wall row 535, officially capped out at 30 pounds. I actually hit 32 and some other logs. I just don't have them all right now. I'm just showing you one right now. I mean, you know, it is what it is, guys. Fuel pump, transmission needs to go in before I can hit the dyno again. It's a pity, but it's part of the game. Part of the game when you're making over 600 wheel. <laughs> Squad out tonight. Let's get some bulls in, baby.